Good morning everyone, Sean here and this is my day 8 update I believe, it's been about 8 days since I've launched this 2.6 gallon Fluval Spec 3 reef tank and Gonna do something a little different just starting off with the blue lights. They're beautiful. Four LEDs. So we got some new stuff going on in the tank tonight or this morning. I did some uh, major remodeling, got bored with um, just the amount of live rock. So I took the uh, the tower rock out and also one of the other smaller pieces and um, I've decided that going forward that this will be the configuration, something very close to this. So I'll probably end up doing some um <clears throat> epoxy to adhere that that top rock to the to the base rock there so i'm going to go ahead and activate the the white light now so we can uh the, the white led so we can see what's going on all right so in the tank i got my hands on a couple sexy shrimp i've got Four more coming on Wednesday, but I happened to walk into a local fish store today, and I couldn't help myself. So, the two sexy shrimp here are live and in the tank and ready to go, ready to be sexy. And you can see the beauty on this rock here. It's got some real nice color. I'm going to play around with the saturation to see if I can uh, highlight that thing. I mean, it's, it's beautiful. Wow. So I moved the uh, damsel to my 10 gallon tank, did some reconfiguring down there to move the um, clowns around. So I've got two S Osolaris clowns in my 10 gallon along with the, the damsel and uh, the peppermint shrimp that were here in this tank earlier this week. And um, I've now got the pair of maroon clowns in the big tank. Uh, the 125 gallon so I kind of like this layout because uh, Mr. Coral Banded Shrimp gets to hang out in plain sight he's so cool and I'll go ahead and um, just focus on the water test and as you can see the pH is holding steady at 8.2 or 8 8.0 thereabouts nitrite holding steady at I would say that's about 0.25 ppm nitrite also about 0.25 ppm and nitrate Still holding hard uh, due to the biospira cycle. So I believe that there is going to be a an ammonia boost here shortly, and we will probably see some nitrite as well. So as you can see. Got some critters present. Flatworm. Got 
Got a hermit crab down there. So I really like the way this base rock sits because uh, it allowed me to um, kind of move the sand around to uh, do like a multi-level shaping. So I'm very happy. Uh, what I've done is I've sloped the sand upwards towards the back of the tank, filling in all the gaps around the rock on the back to, to bring the level up and and really um, bring it up to that centerpiece rock. It gives the clown goby some place to hang out. He's uh, being super bashful right now. So all in all, I'm really happy with uh, this new layout. Mr. Clown. Gotta clean the glass up a little bit here. So, final uh, additions to the tank will be a um, pistol. Gobi combo uh, to be determined. Again, still looking for uh, suggestions. And uh, I probably won't make that move until we have full cycle and the nitrate calms down. But I'm looking at a Yasha Gobi possibly. That thing's beautiful, but could be uh, a little large for this tank. I'll have to do some more research on that. Uh, but if you guys have any ideas, uh, go ahead and comment. As always, thanks for uh, watching my video.